What did the what did the clay oven say to the dough? What's going on? Um, so we're not going to do clay. We're not going to do clay oven. Obviously, um, we're going to do it in a pizza oven. So non traditionally. Um, oh, so this dough, by the way, it's um, I made it the exact same way I made the New York dough that I've, I'm going to post a, um, a demo for. Um, so in the food processor, um, this is all-purpose flour, uh, 300 grams of all-purpose flour, um, 100 grams of water, 100 grams of milk um, that I warmed up and dissolved, uh, 6 grams of yeast in, um, and then there's also uh, 7.5 grams-ish of salt, um, and then all of that combined in the food processor, uh, which I then... Um, process let it ride, come, come into a dough right around the blade for um, once it comes into a dough you let it continue riding around the blade for about 30 seconds uh, then I let it sit at room temp um, covered for a couple hours and finally I uh, divided it into four balls here which I then uh, balled up and they've been here now for about another now they've been here for about 45 minutes or so so it's essentially like a New York style pizza dough but I'm um, sorry it's not, not not a New York style pizza dough it's essentially like a pizza dough but with um, uh, some milk added to it. You could use yogurt also, um, other dairy, but you know, it's just sort of like an en enriched dough. Now traditionally to make a uh, naan, what would happen is you would take the, um, the dough like this, stretch it out by hand, um, and then um, you place it over like a, a wet um, ball of rags and you stick it to the inside of a, um, of a tandoor oven. So a tandoor oven is like a big, well, it could be made in the, in the ground, although most modern, the ones you see in restaurants, um, uh, modern ones are um, big clay things that are above the ground um, with a big fire at the bottom, um, a kind of domed round top that kind of domes down like this. Um, and you stick the naan uh, to the inside of that wall and then kind of pry it off with a, with a uh, poker later on. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use a pizza pizza oven and a pizza peel. All right, so I'm gonna turn up the camera so you can see what's going on here. I've had this oven preheating for a while. It'll go fast. Whoop. As usual, a little too fast. That's all right, that, that's like kind of like, uh, when, when you burn a piece of toast, you can always scrape off the top. It's not gonna really, not gonna really be an issue. Just like with pizza, the first one is the uh, the sacrificial the sacrificial loaf. Pouring one out for all your all the lost bread in the world. That's what it is. Right, you're gonna see it. This is what's gonna happen is um, the uh, air inside is uh, expanding, um, and the um, the water inside is also turning into water vapor, and so that's gonna cause it to kind of puff up like this. Um, you'll see it's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna pop up really dramatically, kind of into a balloon. Let's uh, spin it around so that one side doesn't get too dark. There you go. You can see that kind of puff, puff, puff. That's how you get. Um, well, I guess this is more technically more similar to like a pita than naan. Um, but, you know, there you go. Um, because we're cooking it more like a pita um, than we are like a naan. And, you know, a naan would be cooked in a tandoor oven, not in a pizza oven. Whereas pita and pizza have the same etymological and culinary root. I believe, uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe um, it's from the Ottoman Empire, the word, if not the, uh, if not the flatbread. And I know you're going to quote me on that because I said it, but. all right. 
Last one. Ready? Let's see it puff, let's see it puff. Give me the puff, give me the puff. I live for the puff. Here it comes. Ooh. Spin around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's give this guy another second on this back side. That's all some good looking bread, huh? Buttering, buttering naan is kind of like, um, I don't know if you've ever, um, I don't know how many of you are woodworkers out there, but buttering naan is kind of like um, applying that first coat of varnish to a, a piece of wood. It like kind of really makes the, makes the grain pop, like makes the color contrast really nice and adds that nice luscious shine to it. Um, so I, I think it's more than just a flavor thing, like it's a, it's very much a visual thing too. You see how much nicer that looks when it gets that little layer of butter on it? Here, watch this one closely, I'll show you. You see all that, those brown and black spots just kind of pop in the contrast. The contrast goes up. Right. This is the kind of meal that we will eat with our fingers at the table, actually. All right, let's do this. A little bit of that action. Yeah. Mmm. All right, guys, here you go. Sit. Good girl. All right, see you later. Dinner time.